So welcome to Fresh Milk. So Fresh Milk was set up in 2011. We are a registered not-for-profit and basically we're a platform that's supporting excellent talent in Barbados and the visual arts. So we're kind of countering what a lot of people in the arts feel are, are la lack of opportunities and creating opportunities for artists to be able to produce their work. Uh, I was having a kind of an existential crisis uh, teaching at BCC when I realized that a lot of our students within a year of graduating were no longer making work and I felt it was contributing to a non-sustainable venture. So even though the state was investing in a five-year program, uh, they weren't thinking about what would happen with their students once they'd finished. And so we had a particularly strong group a few years ago and I thought, well, let's set up Fresh Milk as, a, as an experiment and a lab and see whether we can create opportunities that would allow them to consider continue producing their work. And that's really, we kind of came out as, a, as an experiment um, to see if there was enough critical mass to support the work. And I'd say that there is. Hi, I'm Ronald Williams. I'm a recent graduate of the Barbies Community College in Visual Arts. Right now my work is on the Fresh Milk Art Board, which is a free platform for other artists to display their work. The work that is there currently is called The Beast. It was shown recently in the Glasgow Games in 2014. The Beast is a portrayal of the historic, typical image of the black athlete in basketball. It captures the idea that the black athlete is a powerful, imposing, physical beast. And it's also the whole idea that we, supporters of athletes or physical sports, tend to view the physicality and the dominance as something to be celebrated. Well, since I left BCC, I mean, I think it's one of the main things that encouraged me to keep going because um, after that then people kind of go their own separate ways and the, the, the tight little group that you would have had in BCC that kind of dissipated so you're kind of alone but with Fresh Milk and Elite organized for me to have an uh, off-site residency which was I would produce work and then have people from around the Caribbean and other places to give me feedback about that just to keep me you know critically you know on my toes and leave has gotten me opportunities and and she was one of the forces behind me going to Russia so I feel like fresh milk has been extremely helpful <laughs> like So we have uh, some public programming, we've had public events, we've had 16 public events in the last uh, three years, so people can come out to public events. We have fresh milk books and we have this fabulous reading room called the Colleen Lewis Reading Room. It's just under 2,000 books and it's free, freely accessible and open to the public. This is a very tangible resource that people seem to respond to very beautifully in terms of wanting to support it um, and I think that's great because there's not enough reading I find with my students and so that we're trying to find ways to get people to read more. I think Fresh Milk for me has been a personal exploration of what happens when I stop. My life in London is super busy, running two organisations and my own artistic practice. So really my time at Fresh Milk was about giving myself that permission to have some time for introspection, to research, to read, to be in nature. I find that when people come into Fresh Milk they exhale. And I think that's great because I think a lot of people are really um, stressed with, you know, everything that needs to be done. And I think this is a place where people come and they exhale. But it's also a space that is spawning community. And uh, in the last three and a half years, for me, I've been able to see the impact 
on the attrition rate at BCC and I'm seeing that artists are continuing their practice and I'm seeing people that are connected with us who are growing and that's extraordinarily rewarding.